God, I remember my first art show. What was that like? Oh, dude, I was, I was up all night counting every piece, you know, okay, if I sell everything, you know, this is what I'm going to make, you know, packing it all up, drive down there, set up, and I don't think I sold a thing, you know, but, but the night before, I'm like, oh, dude, I'm going <laughs> to... <laughs> It's just, it's such a lear learning curve, you know, and, and what you think is going to happen and what actually happens, you know, unless you're fortunate, you know, you got something that, that's just totally outrageous, but yeah, it's, it's a big learning curve, you know, and even, even at this day, after 25 years, I'm still signing up for shows where I lose money at, you know, because you just, you just don't know. Just don't know. And, and, and learning how to get into those top shows, you know. Um, the, top, the photographs of your pieces or your artwork, really important. Because they've got, you know, these top shows, they're using these applications you're familiar with that. They're blasting through that, man. They spend maybe three seconds on your, whatever, five pictures. You gotta grab their attention in three seconds. Yeah. You know, and, and you're talking, you know, maybe 20, 20 positions in your category out of 200 pictures, you know. Yeah. You gotta get their attention. <laughs> so professional shots of your work and then your booth shot is, is, that's one thing that's been kind of hurting us, getting into some of the top shows of our booth shot. Got to be real professional. You don't want it. You don't want it oversaturated. Too much artwork on the on the on the walls. Um, you know, with our artwork, you know, we've got a bunch of different sized pieces, and if it's just packed in there, they'll just go, "Oh, that's confusing," you know, and go on. So my booth shot, I actually have maybe a fourth amount of pieces as I would have in the show. Oh wow. So it just looks really clean, one of each shape, you know. Yeah. It's got to be real clean. You know, there's a bunch of rule of thumbs, you know, like first time shows, no matter how tempting it looks, don't even bother. And then also, you know, if you've got promoters calling you, if it's a good show, they don't need to be calling you. I mean, you know, <laughs> word of mouth gets out and, and, you know, everybody's trying to get in. When everybody, if someone comes into my booth, you know, as I'm sitting there soaking up the sun, watching, you know, just people watching, and sometimes I'll be like up in the mountains of Colorado with these mountains behind me, and I'm doing an art show, and they'll walk in and I say, how you doing? And they say, how you doing? And I just go, I smile and I go, I love my job. I'm doing great, man. And they just go, wow. You know? <laughs> People like to, to get a piece of that, you know. So your attitude is big on, you know. Nothing like walking into an artist and he's reading a magazine, you know. And, you know, hi. You know. Who wants to buy a part of that, you know. Right. <laughs> yeah. They, people... Customers love your stories, how your paintings came about, um, how you got involved with, you know, artwork. People want a piece of that, you know, because they don't, they're not able to live that, you know. They got the, the, the nine to five grind, you know, and so having that story, you know, about your art, about your life, they eat it up. So, you know, always be positive. And you are, man. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, no, that's that's big, you know, because you love what you're doing. You got a passion for what you're doing, yeah. you know. And, and so do we. It's just like, I love my job, man. And they just <laughs> laugh and go, "Well, I can see why." And it shows in your work, you know, and it shows in your work too. Living a dream. <laughs> so true. Living a dream.